Each fall, more than 14,000 anesthesiology professionals worldwide gather to discuss the latest advances in their field. And this year's meeting put a particular focus on the latest developments in surgery and pain management. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is here to explain. Mark? Candace, this year anesthesiology professionals honed in on opioids and other medication options to determine what role these treatments should play for patients. Anesthesia renders you unconscious and insensitive to pain during many medical procedures. Opioids traditionally are part of that anesthesia, even for child patients. But new research suggests that may change. One study that looked at techniques at taking care of patients and children in particular undergoing tonsillectomy without the use of opioids. It turns out we can get these children through safely and relatively pain-free without opioids by some new techniques. While opioids have been much maligned given our nation's drug epidemic, professionals at this year's anesthesiology meeting acknowledge the narcotic painkillers still serve a productive purpose. Opioids can be used safely in patients who require them, but we have to make sure that they're not misused or abused or possibly overdosed on patients. Anesthesiology professionals also discussed medical marijuana. Some research looking back at articles shows that there may be a positive increase in the benefit of medical marijuana at decreasing opioids abuse and misuse, but I caution folks that this needs a lot more study. Another topic, topical cannabidiol and expected moms. A recent survey of childbearing age women revealed a startling finding. Many childbearing age women realize that it's not safe to drink alcohol during pregnancy, but many of them have a different opinion about the safety of CBD. 29% surveyed believe CBD lotions are safe during pregnancy to reduce nausea, pain, and anxiety, even though no safety data exists. And when it comes to patient safety, it's what the anesthesiology conference is all about. All of these things can come right from this meeting into the physician anesthesiologist practice to be put into place to benefit our patients. Another study discussed at the anesthesiology meeting didn't even involve medication. It found when a health care provider is courteous while drawing your blood, you're less likely to notice the pain of the needle. Head to pahomepage.com to learn more about physician anesthesiologists when it comes to your care. With the Health Beat, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.